this. This is the typical setup. First, you have a home or landowner. He doesn't take on much responsibility. He is simply the legitimate owner where the grow operation will take place. All he has to do is pick up a briefcase every three months and pay off his mortgage. His hands are clean because he can claim ignorance if the grow operation is busted. Oh, I'm sorry, officer. I didn't know they were growing marijuana there. Then you have his 50-50 partner, the contractor, who will provide the equipment and hire the grower or grow himself. The grower is known as the fall guy. Why the name? Because that's exactly what he is. If the operation is busted, he takes the fall. Once the crop is matured, clippers are then hired. They prep the weed for distribution by cutting away the excess leaves and stems. What a lot of people don't understand is a part of the marijuana plant that people smoke is the bud, which in essence is the plant's flower. It's not the leaves. Clippers are generally hired on an hourly wage starting around $20. Tax free, of course. Once the marijuana is ready, in steps the weed broker. He's not always required, but sometimes the partner with the equipment needs a broker to buy his product and then sell it for him. In the event that a broker is required, it usually means the weed is headed south to the United States. In that case, the broker will buy the pot for somewhere between $1,800 and $2,000 a pound. He'll then hire a border jumper, a risk taker, someone who has the balls and hopefully the wits to get the product over the border. Some of the most common ways? The border jumper's fee varies with each trip, but they're always well paid. Once a product has reached the broker's U.S. connection, it will earn about $3,000 a pound. The farther south it goes, the more it makes. If it manages to make it all the way out east to areas like New York, the price is driven even higher, somewhere between $3,500 and $6,000 a pound. Stricter laws demand higher prices and in turn provide, provide more profits. In Miami, seven to eight pounds of BC Bud will trade for one kilo of pure yayo. Cocaine. That in turn makes its way back up to 